What's the difference between the omega-3 in flax oil and seal oil? First thing we want to look at when comparing flax to seal oil is the ratio of omega-3 to omega-6. Flaxseed oil is a great source of omega-3 and outside of marine animal sources, it has one of the best ratios of omega-3 to omega-6 available in the natural world. So when you take a look at it, uh, flax oil has a 1 to 3.5 ratio of omega-6 to omega-3. So that means omega-3 is 3.5 times greater than the, the omega-6 in flax oil. In the case of seal oil, uh, the ratio is higher in favor of omega-3. It's a ratio of 1 to 7.5 approximately. Therefore, uh, as mentioned, for every milligram of omega-6, Flax oil contains 3.5 times more omega-3, and for seal oil, 7.5 times more. Even though seal oil is more, flax is still a really good source of omega-3, since people in North America tend to consume a ratio closer to 15 to 1 in favor of omega-6, and some people are even as high as 50 to 1. Experts recommend, you can look this up online as well, Experts might recommend at least a ratio of 4 to 1 when it comes to omega-6 to omega-3. Uh, and some people say that even a ratio of 1 to 1 is, is recommended, but people should at least be getting a 4 to 1 ratio of six, uh, omega-6 to omega-3. And in actual fact, uh, it's usually 15 to 1 or 50 to 1. So there's way too much omega-6 flaxseed oil can help in that regard. Uh, but there's some other things we want to look at. So flax oil, uh, although it's one of the best sources, one of the best ratios in the natural world, I think hemp oil is one of the only others that has a sort of a good ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 that adding it can actually be beneficial. But one of the things we want to look at is the fact that flax oil, omega-3, comes in the form of ALA, which is alpha linoleic acid which is a plant-based source of omega-3. It's, it's fine, uh, but in order to be beneficial to the body, it must be converted to EPA and DHA. These are two types of omega-3s you'll see coming up a lot, uh, especially with fish oils and various marine animal oils, but also with algae, so important there. But basically, your body has to convert the type of omega-3 in flax and any other, most other plant-based omega-3 oils has to convert them from ALA into EPA and DHA. And during this process of conversion, your body actually only receives about 10 to 15 percent of the initial amount. And so if a bottle states that there's 2.5 grams per teaspoon or per tablespoon, you're really only going to get 250 milligrams you know, you might get up to 15% and you'll have to look at the various sources as to how much is exactly converted, but what I've seen is around 10 to 15%. It's a much less direct source, even from the sense that, you know, seal oil, by comparison, contains DHA and EPA directly. So it doesn't have to be converted. It's already there. It's already in a form that's usable by the human body. But there's also another omega-3 called DPA. Now DPA is found in seal oil in large amounts and the interesting thing is that in most other fish oils you will not find DPA. You won't find any mention of it even. You'll find for example on bottles it will say has EPA and DHA. That's extremely common. But what you don't commonly see is DPA. It's actually extremely rare. There was, I mean, there's there's a handful. There, you know, you're gonna find, if you, know, if you really look hard, you may find it, but you really have to look hard. It's not by default gonna be there, and it's very rare. In fact, I was watching a video recently. This uh, weight loss and fitness expert said, basically no fish oil contains DPA. Now he was promoting his own product, and he said, mine is unique in the sense that it does contain DPA. So that's very, very rare. So it is rare. It's not impossible, but it's highly available in seal oil. Very highly available. And so seal oil contains actually one of the highest levels of DPA. Even in sources that also contain DPA, seal oil is uniquely high in that 
component of that essential fatty acid known as DPA. Your body will convert EPA and DHA into DPA as necessary, but once again, it's better to get it directly from the source. And of course, DPA is completely absent from flax oil, of course, and then you'd have to go through a multi-stage process where it would convert the ALA into the DHA and EPA, and then finally uh, would convert it to DPA. So it's possible, but it's not in there as such, and your body has to work hard to, to extract that. So overall, seal oil is a one-of-a-kind source of omega-3, and you really need to dig a little bit deeper and get into the nitty-gritty to see why it's a better source of flax oil. And I've, I've hopefully highlighted some of those reasons. And if you have any questions, contact me. Uh, and uh, please visit terranovasealoil.com or plantology.ca uh, to order yours today. Thank you for your time.